Okay, and here we are going with the uh, analysis of chloride titration by the Fajans method. So this is what it looks like before we have started to add any silver to the chloride solution. Uh, there's about one to two drops of the dichlorofluorescein indicator in there. And we are going to start here. My starting volume is at 20.00 nLs. Based on the molarities of the reagents, I am predicting an endpoint at 45.27 nLs. So let's see what this looks like. So after adding just a drop, or a few drops rather, notice not a major change. So I'm going to go ahead and add about 5 mLs. Okay, so at this point I am at just about 25.00 mLs, so almost 20% of the way in. Let's add another 5. just short of the 30 ml mark. Let me add another five. Okay, nothing terribly interesting yet. Still notice some kind of yellow green in there. Let me get another five in. Okay, and we're just short of 80% of the way there right now. <coughs> I'm going to get to about 90% by adding in a little over 2 mLs here. Okay. And at this point, my volume reading is about, I would say, 42.60 mLs. And from here on out, I'm going to go over quite a bit slower because even though I'm predicting that the volume, the endpoint based on molarities is 45.27, of course that could be off just a bit. So I'm going to commence swirling from here on out. So I'll just go a bit drop wise. Okay, I'm just passing 43 milliliters. Just passing 44 milliliters. Again, 45.27 is the anticipated endpoint. Okay. Right now I'm at about 44. Point just shy of 44.80, so I'm within about a half a milliliter. So I'm going to try to go quite a bit slower here. And here we 
go. Okay, my beer red is just at 45.00 ml. And I am at my, what appears to be my endpoint. Let me see if I can get a good reading on that. And that is at, let's see, 45 point, looks to be about 45.15 ml. Verify that here. It's a little hard to read where I have it positioned. Yeah, about 45.15 ml. Let's see what happens if I add just a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm at what I had predicted my endpoint to be based on using my solutions uh, and the measurements. Those were not standardized, so that could be the possible source of error. Now, let's just see what happens if we go quite a bit over. And mostly staying the same. Okay, and at this point we're well over at about 49.50 mLs. Which would actually correspond to having added a little over Let's see, about 29 and a half milliliters at this point. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end that right here.